Rubio. Cold. Oh yes, I did. Um, yes, Father is unhappy. He is unhappy. You see, the problem with Obibi is eating him up. He is so angry that he wishes not to speak with anyone. That's serious. That's very serious. More than serious, my brother. More than serious. So what do we do? That is a question even the Ezedibia of Obibi could not answer. So where is father at the moment? He walked out of a meeting with the elders in council. He is in his room and wishes to be left alone. Let's see him. Of a people and say, I should tell you this because of the trouble in the land, some of our youths have been selected to start watching the night as vigilantes, and everybody is expected to stay indoors immediately. It's dark. Be warned, anybody that is found outside, they will take you as the monster. I know what it means. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. People of Obibi, listen, oh, Igwe Ugeze say I should tell you this. Because of the trouble in the land, some of our youth has been selected to start watching the night. And everybody is expected to remain indoors. Immediately it's night. Be warned. Anybody they found outside when watching the night, they will take you as the monster. A stubborn fly goes in the grave with the cops. Wow. Thank God for our able youth. My dear, at least they will protect us. Yes. Long live the king. Yes, People of Obi be listening. No, the Igbo Ugeze say I should tell you this because of the trouble in the land. Some of the youth has been selected to start watching the night as vigilantes, and everybody is expected to remain indoors. Be warned. Anybody that is found outside will be taken as the monster. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. My sister, the outcome of this meeting seems to be favorable. May the gods help our land. The Igwe is a good man and he will surely protect us. Say. Father, we need to talk. Now. Yes. Now. That's yours. Okay, my children. What is it? Well, Father. The problem facing the land of Obibi our 
ancestral land is also facing us. Of course. If there is any solution, we should also partake in it. We were also told that the youth of this community will start watch tomorrow. All hands must be on deck. Hey, uh, Obiora. honestly, if I tell you that I, I understood what you said now, I, uh, I may be lying. But could you please calm down? For what we are saying in essence is, we shall join the youths of OPB in the watch. Yes, Father. Never. Never. Don't tell me that. You're the prince, the heir to the throne. I was going to I was going to Brother, true, I am the prince, heir to the throne. But, brother, I am also a youth of Obibi Kingdom. Just listen to yourself. Hear yourself talk. But just listen to yourself. Look, baby, Nedje. Muro, baby, Nedje. But if watching the night with the youth will bring peace to Obibi Kingdom, so be it. I choose to stand and fight for my people. But uh, why don't you want to take a few seconds and reflect on what I am? telling you or what I have been telling you ever since. It is all about your baby. Fighting for your people. Yes, mother. Just listen to yourself. Fight my foot. The fight that Eze Didia could not fight for the people. Is that what you want to go and do? Anyway, your father said you are not going anywhere. And I stand by him. You know, father was right by stopping you from watching the night with the youths. Well, you see, OBB is bad for everybody. And as such, if there's a problem with OBB, it sure will affect everybody. That's true. I agree with you. Hmm? But not in this case. Wait. How will you feel when you hear people say that the princes of Obibi Kingdom are watching the night at vigilantes? <laughs> it doesn't sound right to the EA. No, 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 no. The question should be, how will you feel when people say that the monster killer has been brought down by the prince of Obibi? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. That's the story for the next generation. Because even the Ezedibia himself said he knows nothing, absolutely nothing about that monster. That monster cannot easily be brought down, so don't even go there. Mm -mm. Now. <laughs> I can bring down that monster. If I body help work, I'm going to job one so forget it, don't go there. Well, you see, anything is possible. Absolutely anything. The gods are wise. I know the gods are wise. Thank you very much, my dear sister. That was supposed to be my orange. My orange? But I already peeled two for you. Okay, don't worry. Then peel another one for you. Gotcha. Okay. So, to what do I owe this visit? Igwe, this morning I went for hunting. So on my coming back, I decided to bring you this one so that you can also enjoy this one with me. All this for me? Yes, you ah, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. So Igwe, I will be on my way because I will be seeing my friend from here. So soon? Yes, Igwe. Okay, that's no problem. But let me ask you one question. As a hunter, who makes use of the bush and the knives mostly? Have you heard or seen the the monster recently? No, 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 no. Since uh, the vigilante started uh, watching the night, okay, we have not seen or heard about the monster again. 
All right. It's all right. Let me. There are quarters here. And this side. I have asked you several times to come over and take one. You prefer staying in that old block house? It is because of my hunt, you know. So I wouldn't want to come around where I will be disturbing anybody in the palace here. No. You see, you can make that place your takeoff point and your return point when you when you go and come. But you come over here and stay comfortably with your wife. Yeah. Okay. No problem. One day you will see I and my wife will pack in. <laughs> hey, let me be on my way. Okay. Yeah. Oh, baby. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh, Ibu. Your children. Yusuf or Bibi, what is the problem? What? Igwe we nandi she. Ama mo na na hunka hiya na hon. What we the use of this land are trying to say is that we cannot longer continue with this vigilante of a thing. Yes. yes. This monster will win Igwe. Oh, but that you need like Igwe. Oh God, Pia, you go there. Oh God, go, go, go. We can no longer continue. Wait, yes. wait, 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 wait. Do you know that it was Igwe that set up this vigilante? Now tell us here in the palace. Are you trying to disobey the Igwe? You, 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 you. I'm asking you. you, 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 you. Far from that, we are not disobeying Igwe. The truth is that, from what we are seeing, we can no longer continue. What we saw with our eyes tells us that the monster is indestructible. Make sure you water. Make sure you. How can you talk like that? What are you talking about? And that's of our land. What we are saying is that you people do not have any idea of how that monster is. Yes. Yes. He will. If that monster comes here now, it can carry all of us here in one of his hands. Yes. I have lost one of us already. As for me, I don't want to die like that. With due respect, my elders, I suggest we all go home and dig our grave because our doom has come. There is no need to prolong issues. As for the vigilante work, count me out. As soon as I leave this place, my back is already, already on my head. And I am going. I'm leaving this town. <laughs> I weep. I weep. I weep. I Do you know that my wife and my children have left this village? Left the village for where? My wife said she can no longer risk her life by being in this village. And so she went to Umetere. But you do Come to think of it, you don't blame her. Yeah. You don't blame her. If it's not the fact that I'm a titled chief, eh? I would have left this village long, long ago for my dear life. You don't even understand what is going on. It's not a small problem. Hmm. It's not a small problem. Who don't? Greetings, Igwe. The eye of the gods. Or the Pompone Mir. Mumpoe in a chief way in us. Dibia Nebunala or Pomoneli. Ebu Dibia Jacona, Maragam Bamma. Bamma Kuma, Tanobo. Where you not 
the one that went into the evil forest of Umbara and remained there for 18 good weeks. Zedibia, if you are still there, Zedibia, we used to know. Where have you been? Elebi Muribono no Muriji Maize. Zedibia, where were you when this calamity befall our people? Igwe, the ways of the gods are beyond human comprehension. I have consulted the gods countless times, yet they refuse to speak. Igwe, the gods still remain silent. Why? Why is it? Why are they silent? What have we done? Have we offended them in any way? Why are they silent? Why? I don't know, Igwe. All I can see is black cloud covering this land. From what I see, Igwe, many will still die. What is bigger than the cricket has entered the cricket hole. I can see death so common in this land. But, 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 uh, but, from what we have seen, this monster is deadly. But remember, before you go out with a widow or a widower, First, you must find out what killed the spouse. My question, therefore, is Is it Dibia? Where is this monster coming from? And how did it enter this our land? Oh, baby. That is what I do not know for now. Is it Dibia? Don't hey. tell us you don't know. That's not any man. Don't tell us you don't know. Mm. All I can see is death! All we need to do is to be very careful. No more night movements. Until the cause, reveal this monster killer, Ross. Igwe! The cause. Bye bye. Oh, baby. Oh, Okay, what is it, my wives? Our people say that Aya Palapai de Liwango. This is an announced war. So we cannot afford to fold our hands anymore and watch the war devour us and our children. Uh, I think you have spoken in riddles. Can you break it down? This is no riddle. Okay. What we are saying is that this village is not safe for us and our children anymore. Please, Igwe, we beg you. Please take us out from this village. Igwe, no one can tell. Nobody knows who is the next victim, Igwe. Please, please, we beg of you. Yes, Igwe. Because if this monster enters into this palace, Igwe, it will spare your life because you are the Igwe of this OBP. Then what because of us, your wives and children, Igwe? If you love us as your family, please, Igwe, do not make us spend a night longer in this palace. Because Igwe, you know our is before you. Uh, I have you. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Sit down, sit down. I understand your fears. I feel the way you feel. But there's one thing I want you to understand. And that thing is that the rain does not fall on one roof alone. What is troubling you is also troubling others. If I take you out of this community, what then happens to those who have nowhere to go? Those who have nobody to take them out? See, I care for my people and I love them. 
And I believe in the calls of my forefathers that one day, just one day, all these things will be over. When the rain starts and begins to gather floods, it will seem as if it won't stop. But the truth of the matter is that the sun will shine again. The sun must rise again in Ogibi. I want you, please, my wives, to understand that the way I feel about you is the way I feel about the entire Umu Obibi. When Obibi was peaceful, we all enjoyed the peace. And now that Obibi has this pain, this problem, eh, let us bear it completely. See, I love you people the way I love Obibi. So please, let us bear it. Nothing will happen to us. Please. Igwe, is this all you have to say to this? What more do you expect? Please, come out of here. Igwe. Igwe, 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 Where are you going to? I forgot to tell you. I'm going to Arunda to visit a great Dibia. A great Dibia? For what? You see, Agatha, the way this bloody monster is killing people is getting out of hand. I think I have to visit the great Dibia, Abara. For him to at least prepare what I will use to protect my family. Nay, please, just be careful, oh. I will. Before the sun sets, I will be back. Please, just take care of my house for me. Oh, I take my leave. Go well, yeah. <laughs> Father, take it easy on yourself. We all know that you have no fault in this. Yes, Father. Even the Ezedivia has run out of ideas. Obiara, my son. My duty as the Igwe of this land is to protect my people and to provide for them. Which I have been doing before this dreaded monster entered this land and started ravaging everywhere. My people die in their thousands every night. Umu Bibi is finishing up. Husbands die, leaving their wives. Wives die, leaving their husbands. Mothers die, leaving their children. We, we, we live in perpetual fear. I am bothered. And I should be bothered, Obiora. I should be bothered. Oh, Father. You taught me well to prepare me for the throne. And if there is one thing I'm sure of, is that whatever has a beginning, will surely have an end for you. I agree with you. But when is this one ended? No, when will it come to an end? It is obvious that this monster will not stop at anything until everyone is dead. Nightfall now comes like a dreaded disease. Nobody is sure who is next. Nobody is sure who is next. Oh, Biora, can't you see it?
This bloody monster will come into my family again. So you still go tonight hunting? Hmm? I didn't believe my eye. I shot at it. It didn't penetrate. That was exactly what I told you. That the monster is something else. It's extraordinary. But that makes me keep asking the same question. How did it enter this village? That is the same question Ezedibia could not answer. So, are you saying I should be the one to answer the question? Listen, all I'm saying is this. Let us put our eyes on the ground. Be more watchful so that we won't fall victim. He said, May your days on this throne be long. He said, the strange happenings in our land have got to the allies. Mm. Very, very. And we cannot fold our hearts and watch our people die every night. Our people say, an elder does not sit at home and watch a goat deliver in bondage. Iwe, the death of our Kaka is another great shock to will the elders. Something must be done immediately. Upon MacGregor, there is fire on the mountain. My elders, I greet you all. Yeah. Oh, well, I thank you very much. That is a nice one. But I am looking up to your people for suggestions. What do we do? Iwe, I suggest we send some of our men to Abo Mountains uh, to fetch uh, the Dibia called uh, Ikuku. That is it, yes, yes. Because I know that if we're able to bring him here, he will have the solution to all the calamities that have befallen us in this land. Yeah, yes, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Though I have not seen this cuckoo of a man and of our mountains, but I have heard a lot of good stories about him, his achievements and good things he has done. What that means is that some of you will have to go and fetch him. Igwe, I will go. Huh? Yes. Igwe, two good heads are better than one. I will go with him. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Oh. That means the problem is solved. So, when are we talking about? Right away. 
We'll be back in the next two market days. Okay. All right. All right. Um, what I will do is to disseminate information to our people mm. that they will be passing their nights here in the palace. When then, when two of you will come back. Thank you. Please, I want you to understand that the problem in Ogibi is the problem for everybody. What is troubling you is troubling me, is troubling everyone. You see, this is the condition or the situation we found ourselves in. And we are left with no other option than to adopt with the condition of things. You will be passing the nights here in my palace until those that I sent to Abo to go and get a Dibia come back. Some will pass the night in the palace courts, some will pass the night in the reserved huts of the palace. My guards will direct you exactly where to stay. Is that clear? Yes. Let us be ordered as the guards take you to your respective places where you will pass the night. We have seen the great eagle and we have spoken with him. Oh, that's good. That's good. Did he tell you anything about the monster? He only said we should go home, that he will join us soonest. Ah. Oh, well. Didn't you people tell him how urgently we need him? Ah, why not, Igwe? Eh? Why would we not have spoken with him? We told him 
But he said we should go. He will join us soon next. So why is he not here? I don't know. I don't know. He's here. <laughs> Igwe. The great Ikuku. Igwe. The great Divya from Abob Mountain. You are welcome. Igwe. Ikuku goes wherever he wants. I can see that. I can see that. I am the wind that can never be trapped. Igwe, I can see a shadow covering the land. More death will visit Umobibi. Hey. Uh, the great Ikuku, we have a question. Where did this dreaded monster come from? And how did it find its way into this land? It is a story of many years ago. I will tell you. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. You have the gods to send your careless daughter to come and insult me, right? Uh, uh, insult you? Yes, of course. Ne. Did you insult him? No. You did. She did. And I knew very well that you are the one that instigated this insult. I knew. Uh, Nay. I did not send her to insult you. I only sent her to you for you to give her the money we worked for that you owe me now. And I understand. So that was the plan. For you to tell the, the whole community that I am owing you so that you can rubbish me for the community, right? This woman, you are a witch. You are a big witch. And that is how you kill your husband. Hey. You can't transfer that to me. Hey. Kill my husband. Yes. Nine. I can take any other thing from you. But for you to insult me and accuse me of killing my husband, Banu, I can't take that from you, Nine. Never. I will take it. That is what you did and you, you killed your husband. So now you want to use the command to come and attack me, right? Okay, tell me, if that's not what you did, why were you banished from your land and you come here for refuge? Why? Tell me. I was only banished from my land for what I did not do. Good. Fine. If you're accusing me of killing my husband, what happened to your own wife? Huh? Yes, what happened to your wife? That means you killed her as well. Oh, you accuse me of killing my wife? So you want? Hey, Kuku, the story you just told is true. But we didn't know it was the cause of all this. But well, now that we have known, what can we do? to avert all this problem. Igwe, it is a difficult task. Forget difficulty. We will do it. Anything it takes for us to be free from this monster, we will do it. Please, tell us. Igwe, ten human hairs must be used to appease the monster. Igwe, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! The people of Obibi are not known for cowardice. The land of Obibi is a land of warriors. All I'm saying is that my son, Obiezen, cannot be used for an atonement for Umobi. If that monster wants to kill everybody in this village, it should go ahead and kill everybody. I have given up myself for the sacrifice. How could father take such a drastic decision? How could, how could he? Imagine the gods of our land. Where are you? Are you just watching? Fight for what belongs to you. I knew you are mad. From the onset, from the word go, you are mad. Let's just wait and see who son will wear the crown. The throne is mine. Oh, yes. Mind your tongue, or else you provoke the gods. 
whatever it is you people want, we are ready for it. Even if it means death. Watch and see you sit on that throne. Does this palace look like a place, a meeting point for prostitutes? Your mother who is a prostitute. How dare you? Igwe, that was what happened. The monster has vowed to finish the entire Umobi. Uh, Ikuku, the story you just told is true. But we didn't know it was the cause of all this. But well, now that we have known, what can we do to avert all this problem? Igwe, it is a difficult task. Forget difficulty. We will do it. Anything it takes for us to be free from this monster, we will do it. Please, tell us. Igwe, ten human hairs must be used to appease the monster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Uh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Ikuku, uh, please. Uh, is there no alternative? Can can we can we not? Igwe, there's no alternative. Ten human heads, or it will destroy the entire Umo people. Okay, all right. Um, these people to be used are they males or females? <laughs> Igwe, the people to be used must be male, and they will not be forced. If they should be forced. The mustard will not accept that. Igwe, let me go and plead to the mustard to stop killing. So that the sacrifice should be made. And be very, very fast. What kind of trouble is this? <laughs> Imagine. Be fast. Yes, Papa. So why did you call us? I presume you know why I called both of you. Yes. And I'm also sure you are aware of the deadly monster's demand of human sacrifices. Yes, Papa. We are aware. But I want to ask again. Please, why did you call us? <sighs> well, I want us to think of what to do. Who do we? Nah, I don't want to believe that what I'm thinking is why you called us. Well, if that is why you called us, then you must have everything. Papa, are you actually thinking of using one of us to appease that monster or what? Not that, not that. Then what, Papa? What? If what's our business with monster or human sacrifice? If that monster wants to kill everybody in this village, it should go ahead and kill everybody. As for me, I will accept my fate when the time comes. But bringing out myself to be used as sacrificed for one stinking monster Mbani Papa, never. Hey! Oh, Bibi Akula, oh! Mm. God of our land. Why have you allowed this to befall us? Why? 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 Uh. You want all of us to die. Now, who do we use as a sacrifice? Who? Who will accept to die for all of us? Who? It is true that when one needs happiness, he will create one. Hey! Hello, mm. 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 Father. Everybody in this palace have noticed 
that you troubled lately. What is it, Father? If it my mother told me that she came to speak with you and you lend her no ears. What is it, Father? What did Ikuku, the great Dibia, what did he say about the monster, Father? What? Abiora, my son, this is really a hard time. Umobibi is in a chaos, in a dilemma. That's a problem. Ikuku, the great Dibia, said that the wicked monster would require 10 human heads for sacrifice, else it will clear the whole Umobibi. There's problem. This is indeed a great blow to Umobibi. But Father, what do we do? What do we do, Father, to salvage the situation? I don't know, my son. I don't know. Who do we meet now that will accept to be used for the sacrifice? Who? Father, I think we are becoming cowards here. The people of Obibi are not known for cowardice. The land of Obibi is a land of warriors. Not just warriors, but great warriors, Father. We cannot stand by, fold our arms, and watch a monster from nowhere destroy us all, Father. We just cannot. I know. I know, my son, I know, but the, 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 there is a difference. The difference here is that this is not the kind of war that is forced with physical weapons. No, it is not. But no. The earlier we wage war against this monster, the better for us all. I beg to take my leave, Father. Ah, I wish you will understand, my son. I wish you understand. That shall never cease to happen in this village. Say, what is the wonder that is happening? The ten human heads to be used to appease the monster. Is that enough wonder? Come to think of this way. What was the Igwe and the elders thinking before accepting that? Uh, my father said that there was no other option other than the human heads. Now tell me, who do you think that we are set to be used for sacrifice? Ask who? Me. I was eavesdropping when I heard my father telling one of the elders that anyone who will be used for the sacrifice must willingly accept and not by force. Now ask me, who do you think that wants to die willingly? No member of my family will be used for sacrifice. May the gods forbid. I'd rather die than to be used for sacrifice to save others. <laughs> Please, no, no, let's hurry and start going. My dear, it's a very really good day. It's not a good day. Papa, good morning. Papa, good morning. Man, I want you to know that we all are feeling the same way too. The rain does not fall only on one roof. Now that the monster has made its demand, it is our duty to provide it first. The Igwe as well as the elders are providing their sacrifices. Can't you see that I have a problem? 
Papa, it's all right. It's all right. Ekberi, the great hunter, died many years before I was born. Yet, we heard all he did for Umo Bibi. Even though we die for our people, history can't forget us. Since the Igwe and other elders are providing their own sacrifices, I think I'll be used for the sacrifice too. Who is there? Who is there? Who is there? Who are you? Don't scare me, please. Who is there? Who is there? Ah. Mama, is that you? Yes, my son. Are you alright? Yes, Mama. I saw something and I was scared. I have told you. To stop coming outside by this time of the night. To ease yourself. The village is in danger. You, you naughty boy. Please, let's go inside. No, that can't be possible. Never. Who said so? I said it's not going to happen. It won't be impossible. What while I or Jugo is still alive? We might also be used for a sacrifice for that evil monster. Impossible. If Igwe is looking for food to sacrifice, he should go and get himself one. Exactly! And use my son for blessing. For what? It will never happen! Honestly, mother, I'm short of words. How could father take such a drastic decision? How could, how could he? Imagine! All I'm saying is that my son, Obiese, cannot be used for an atonement for Umo. He cannot be used for atonement for anything. Eh? Why, 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 why Obiese, my son? Why won't he use Obia? Oh. Oh, is it because Obia will replace him when he dies? That he wants to use my son as a sacrifice? Is it possible? I said it will be over my dead body. And you go and tell the way that I, Ojugo, said it will be over my dead body. It's not going to work. Why can't Mama want to my sacrifice? Is it possible? Mother, it's not going to happen. In this palace, it's not going to happen. Mbora! Yes, my princess. Where is my father? He is in his chambers, my princess. Lead me to him at once. As it pleases my princess. And tell him, my princess, tell him that the woman has said that it's not, it's not going to happen. That it will be over my own dead body. Rubbish. More than I sacrifice. One sex. Let's go help him. Who can you there is trouble in the palace? What trouble? The Igwe is looking for who he will use as his own sacrifice for the ten human heads to appease the monster. As we speak now, he has chosen to obey it to be used. Hey, oh, you was over her dead body. Will she allow the only son to be used for the sacrifice? There is true one. A big one. That was even why I called you. Since none of Igwe children are set to be used for the sacrifice, we have done the next option. Sophia Akwa, may the gods forbid. I had run away from this palace than to be used for sacrifice. That was even what I'm thinking, to leave this palace. I was doing something at the backyard. Please let me go back on what I was doing. What are you people doing here? Gossiping? No, my own gossiping. I thought I asked you to go and clean up the room. Have you done that? No, and you are here gossiping? I, I, Come on, will you get out from here? Gossipers. My, my problem is that people, I don't know what is wrong with so many people. Ayam, the land of Obibi is in trouble. Obibi is faced with a very difficult situation. Nobody knows what to do again. Chekube, my son, have accepted. You said? Chekube, your son has accepted. To do what? Oh, to be used for the sacrifice. Yes. Why do you allow him to do that? You were the Ebru Miko. You surprised me. You talk as if you don't know the problem. Obi is passing through. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. And therefore, um, the, 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 the right person to be used for the sacrifice is your son, right? Is that what you think? L let me tell you this. Every other person in this village can be used. Are you seeing me? 
my children, and all the members of my family, none of us will be used for that sacrifice. It cannot work. I will not agree. Hey, you can go ahead and uh, give them your son. Udod, I will ask Igwe to someone meeting because of you. Eh. If we had not known the cause of this monster, I could have suspected you. You are a green snake under the green grass. <laughs> I like that name. Green snake in a green grass. Yes, and the snake is serpent. You don't read the good book. The good book says that you should be as wise as the serpent you have just called me. Yes. But you have decided to be Atoro. As wise as Atoro. We go there with the nose front. No, 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 no. No, if you want, if you want, if you want your generation to be used, it is your business. The sacrifice will be made in the next for market days. But the question is this: Who and who have accepted to be used for the sacrifice? Zuna, you are right. You are right. That is a big question we all should be asking ourselves. Now, check and go on. Whether monster or no monster, safety or no safety. Nah, I don't think I'm ready to die for any human being. But yeah, like 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 don't talk like that. Do not sound like that. This is a deadly situation our people have found themselves. And as the youth of OBB, we ought to pay the deadly price for our community in order for us to save our mothers, fathers, and, and siblings. It is a very difficult task. But what should we do? Should we watch our parents die from the torment of the monsters? No, not at all. The answer is no. We must pay the price. Yes. <laughs> People are just talking. Pay the price. Pay the price. Pay the price. As if it is easy. This is a price that will take your life! Aham, and so what? Is it not better that it takes our life and save Obibi from the torment of the wicked monster? Yes. See, let me tell you, a coward dies a thousand times before his death. Yes. We must pay this price and save Obibi from the torment of the wicked monster. The sun must rise again in Obibi. Yes. Said by who? Huh? Said by who? See who is talking. See who is talking. Are you the one that's going to make the sun rise? Who is going to make the sun rise? We, of course, we the youth. See, let me tell I'm you. not ready to do that. We anyway. better kill the monster and leave the sacrifice. That's just me. Oh. How do you kill the monster? We will kill the monster. You talk leave the BB. sacrifice. You talk for BB. You Abeba. Igwe, may you live long. Go and tell the elders that I want to see all of them in my palace immediately. Igwe, we greet you. When the toad is seen during the day, that means Something is after it, or it is after something. Iwe, when we got your message from your guard, I knew, in fact we all knew, that all is not well. Please, Iwe, what is the problem? <coughs> My elders, I greet you all. You are all members of the cabinet, members of the council representing OBB. 
the human sacrifice to the deadly monster that has been terrorizing our people has been scheduled for the next Alpha Market Day, which is not far from today. I want to thank OBB people through you for your understanding and for the sacrifices your children have decided to make in order to save OBB. I thank those who volunteered. I also thank those who did not volunteer. It was a game of the mind. OBB is a place, a land blessed so much with human and material resources. And we cannot fold our hands and watch OBB, watch our children suffer for our past mistakes. No. We must bring back peace to OBB. The sun must shine again in OBB. And as such, I have decided to join the race. I have given up myself for the sacrifice. I will die for my people. Let peace return to Obibi. Um, uh, uh, uh. Obibi. Obibi kidnapped. Obibi. Ay, Zambula. Obibi. Kuma Kumalta. Obibi. Dancers also will change their steps. I made this decision because of both of you and my beloved people of Obibi. As you all know, a good leader is supposed to set good example. When I die, I die a happy man, knowing that my children are taken over from me. I have heard stories of children fighting over their father's properties after his demise. But please, my children, never let this thought come into your heads.
pardon me. Please take care of yourself. <laughs> and also take care of Papa. <laughs> I'm doing this just for you and Papa. <laughs> Please don't cry. <laughs> don't cry. Hey! Aro! Oh, baby! No! Jacob, please! Jacob, please come back! No, go! Papa!
father. You are the heir apparent to this throne after I must have joined my ancestors. Can't be so. But the thing is that Umo is expecting more from you. <laughs> well, further. You see, as a matter of fact, uh, I am your son. Yes. A liar does not beget a goat. The boy see that. If I wobble, get to go to go. Exactly. <laughs> I will rule like you. <laughs> no, 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 my son, no. That is where you're wrong. You are wrong there. You see, every father's dream is that his son achieves better and higher things than himself. So where I stop is where you will take off from and you will achieve greater heights and bigger things. <sighs> that is it. Well, Father, I do. But where do I start from? Father, where do I start from? I am too young to rule the land of a baby. Where do I start from, Father? Ready. Well, Father, that is why I'm here for you. I will teach you everything you need to know about leadership and the Umu of baby. To achieve greater heights. <laughs> <laughs> Tears won't bring him back. Even the gods know it's not his destiny to die now. He died for us to have peace. He died for us to have life. Won't you go for hunting today? I don't think I will go today only. Why? I'm still morning Igwe Ugeze. Morning? It's my uncle, remember? I almost forgot. I'm so sorry for coming to disturb you. It's okay. I will start going. Okay, be careful. Oh. Be careful and uh, don't go so deep to the forest. So. No, I won't. I won't. My cream coral. Yes, my cream is inside. You saw it? Yes, my cream. Okay, I would like you to go to that uh, coral box and bring out that one and place it on my bed so that I can easily get dressed with it. <laughs> my daddy. My queen, my queen. Welcome. 
the most beautiful queen of the land. You are welcome. <laughs> my queen, my queen. <laughs> welcome. Please Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> this one you came visiting me today. Yes, so all is well. Yes, so my queen. I, my queen, my queen. Please. Yeah, thanks so very much. Visit him. I hope all is well. Yeah, so uh, all is well. But if we are not careful, all will be wrong. Uh, what is it? What brought me to the palace this afternoon is very important and serious. Really? Yes. Um, please, um, could you tell your maidens to excuse us? Go on. I think to that coral I tell you. As it is, this is my fucking mother. My queen, hey, I just came to ask you how you are preparing for the coronation. Oh, about the coronation. We have succeeded in putting everything in place. Uh, I just met with uh, Queen Ugo a few minutes ago and she said everything is done the way we want it to be done. And Obiora is ready also. Is that right? Yes. Hey, that is beautiful. But my queen, you are wrong. How? Obiora is not the legitimate heir to the throne. <sighs> now you do it. I don't understand what you're saying. Yes. Uh, let me just ask you these few questions. A woman is said to be legitimately married when her bride price is paid, right? Yes. The day we came with the Igwe, our own late Igwe, to marry you from a place, your bride price was paid that day. Of course, he did. You were the one that prepared a delicious meal for us the day we went to pay the bride price of Ugebe, 10 years ago, right? Yes, All I right. did. And what was what is wrong with that? No, nothing. Uh, like I said before, um, a, a woman is legitimately married the day, the day her bride price is paid. Therefore, because your bride price was paid the day you were married, you are the first wife of our lady Igwe. That's tradition. No, yes. dude. I don't really understand what you are saying. All these things you are now saying is just totally uh, the, strange to me because don't, I don't understand anything. You won't understand because you are just a young lady. But we ourselves that are the elders of this land know the tradition. If you like, you can ask Owele. Because you are the first wife, Ugebe is automatically the second wife. And if you are the first wife, that means Obieze, your son, is the one to be coronated as the Igwe of Obigiland. My good. I don't really understand what you are saying. All these things you are now saying is just totally uh, the, strange the, the, to me because the, I don't understand anything. Listen what? to me. If Obieze is the first son, that means he is the heir to the throne. Yeah. He is the heir to the throne of Obigiland. It is not Obiora. How are you Dodi? How, are you sure of all this tradition you're, you, you're just telling me about because I've not heard anything like this before. No, you will not hear because you are still a young lady. If I'm not sure, who will be sure? Like I said before, you can ask anybody. Owele is there. You can send for him. He will tell you that what I have just told you is the truth. The only truth. I'm not about the truth. Therefore, open your eyes. Will you not like to be called the, the, the Igwe's mother? Eh? What do you like to be called the Igwe's mother? You have to fight for what is yours. Grab it! Don't let anyone deceive you. No! It should not be Obiora. Eh? The right person to be coronated is Obiese, your son. Eh? Open your eyes. Fight for what is yours. Obiese should be coronated. I've said it again. Have you heard me? Do not say I told you. 
Don't say I told you. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, oh, baby, the reason I called you at this evening is very important. So I want you to put your ears to the ground and listen to me very clearly. My son, I want you to know that the throne of a baby belongs to you. What? Your Highness, how could you say a thing like this to me? I want you to know this night that you are the legitimate son, heir apparent to the throne of a baby. See, I, I got this information from a very reliable source. I investigated it and found it to be true. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. Listen, that is the truth. Like I said, I investigated on it and I found it to be true. You are the heir apparent to the throne of OPP. Come on, Your Highness. Who has been feeding you with all this rubbish? I have an elder brother and you expect me to become king before him? That's not possible. My son, let me explain it the way you will understand. You see, when I was married into this kingdom, okay? Um, oh, baby, kingdom. Beautiful. Nothing competes with nature. Absolutely nothing. Obiezo, my little brother, I've been watching you for a while now. Something troubles you. What is it? Of your I need to be left alone. What did you just say? You heard me. I'm thinking on how to fight for my destiny. Never come close to me again. Thank you, my prince. I, I decided to come as soon as I got your message. Uh, what is it? Yes, I summoned you because of what my mother told me about the throne. My prince, what your mother told you is the truth. You are the legitimate heir to the throne. Obiora is not the first son of Igu Geze. You are. This is because his mother's bride price was not paid before he was born. As a matter of fact, it was just um, 10 years ago. It was just 10 years ago that it was paid. So I am the next king of OVV. Yes, my prince. Mm. Yes, my Igwe. <laughs> How come my father never mentioned this to me? How do you expect your father to have told you? Your father was a very nice man, very good man. He never wanted to hurt anybody. He knew that if he had told you, he would have hurt Ugewe, and he wouldn't have liked it. So he only confided in a good elder like me. And that's why I'm the only person that knows. He didn't tell any other person. So I am the next king. Of you are. In fact, you are the king already. Igwe. I am the next king. Ajugo! Great to see you. I thought you'd 
turn out? No, I was inside. Is there any problem? No, not at all. I sent the women to go to the market to buy some expensive real attires like wrapper, beads. I just felt I should let you know. What are those things for? My son's coronation. And must they be expensive? Don't you go? We are royal. We need royal things. And then, must we buy those expensive? I'm not we have enough bricks at home. You go. We're talking about Obiora's coronations here. Anyway, when the woman comes back, I'll bring those things for you to see. Is that all for now? That will be all for now. I'm glad you like the idea. Let me go and see Obiora. Let me check if he's back. He went to see Owele. It's okay. Ngwan, how do you go? Oh. <laughs> you can imagine I sent some women to the market to buy expensive royal piece for ah. Let's just wait and see who song will wear a crown. It's not about buying the expensive corabies. <laughs> In the next four of our market days, you will be crowned the evil of OBB. The throne is empty and it's waiting for you. <laughs> Thank you, my elders. Love. Elders, you lie. Obiora is not the legitimate heir to this throne. How dare you? What did you just say? Elders, truth be told, the throne is mine. Obiese! Mind the adult who has you provoke the gods! Which gods? Owele, oh, which gods are you talking about? Yes! Have you suddenly forgotten our tradition? The tradition of Obibi land? Oh, you don't know our tradition again? Oh, Dirty, what are you talking about? Now listen and listen good. If you don't want the heat, don't you ever know the kitchen? Are you insane? I am not insane. Oh, well, I am not insane. And that is why I am telling you we should follow the tradition of this land. Otherwise, we incur the wrath of the gods. Listen, listen. Listen carefully, elders. Even the gods knows the truth. Yes, the gods know the truth. Obiora is not a legitimate son of my late father, Iwe Ugense. Hey! Hey! Obiese! His mother's bride price was paid just 10 years ago. And you all know our tradition. A woman is married only when her bride price has been paid. For that reason, Obiora, you are simply a bastard. How dare you? How dare you? Have you gone mad? Have you gone insane? Don't you know your place in the palace, little brother? How dare you! It is your stupid mother who wants to reap where she did not sow. That is mad. Elders, for you to call a meeting like this without my consent simply means that you are evil. Now, if you love your face, get out of this place. How far is on? Fast. I 
do you? No, 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 Calm down, Obiora. Calm down. William, why are you? Mother, don't tell me to calm down. Ogiri, oh, Kefo! Don't tell me to calm down. How can I calm down? When my little, little, little brother is poking his fingers into my eyes. How can I calm down? Give it to Okangwai. What do you want me to tell you? We can't solve it like this. Violence will never solve any problem. Just, just calm down. Let us think. Let's think. Can you change my name? Obiese. You are digging your grave. You are digging your grave, Obiese. Obiora, you're taking this thing too far. How can you say a thing like that? How? Mother, I made a promise to a dying man. I made a promise to father that I shall pay any price, meet any hardship, bear any burden, support any friend, oppose any foe to assure the survival and success of a baby kingdom. And so shall it be. This palace shall no longer concern myself and Obiora. Obiora, don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything stupid, Obiora. Hey. Okay, we ain't grab the gods of our land. Where are you? Are you just watching? Are you just watching? Kingship is my rights. It's my inheritance. Don't put some sand inside my garage. Anyahu. Anyahu, there is total trouble in the palace. And what has come over Obieze? And who is feeding him with all those stories? I don't know. But as far as I'm concerned, whether Ogebe's bread pies was paid yesterday or not, Obiora still remains the heir apparent to the throne of Umu That is it. Let him up. Let us take monkey's hand quickly out of the pot of soup before it becomes too late. Ow. Let us go and visit Ezedibia quickly before this ugly development becomes too late. Well, I think that is the best option. But I must tell you, I am disappointed in what happened in the palace today. And I am going home straight. I'm going home straight. I'm going. Yes, that's what Kingship is my rights. It's my inheritance. Don't put some sand inside my garage. My sisters, it is very unfortunate that the two princes are quarreling because of the throne after the death of our Igri. <laughs> Chere, I thought the elders have settled that issue. Who said so? <laughs> yes. Yeah. As we speak now, the palace is on fire. Poor my sister, this is unbelievable. But their father was a very good man. Which we do not expect less from them. Hey, those children are nothing but bunch of business to their father. Because he raised them as good as he is. If that be it. So what happened? The point in my ear. Yes, so my sister. There must be something wrong somewhere. That has always been their way. Mm -hmm. So if they like, they should settle. But as for Abu Jumwa, <laughs> Ewa, I am not interested in anything about that palace. Oh. Huh. Hey, Jumwa, you have never been interested in anything pertaining to the palace. Is it because the prince did not accept you? Koyeneku, who is talking? Who is speaking? Koyeneku! Are you the one speaking? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Is it? <laughs> is it because I am pretty? Huh? Is that why you're jealous? Jealous, see? Nene. See, let me tell you. There is no smoke without fire. Let them go and sort themselves out because all we need now in a baby is peace and not pieces. Yes. Kingship is my rights. It's my inheritance. Don't put some sand inside my garage. Ship is my rise, is my heritage.
Britons Don't put some sass Inside my gallery How dare you Have you no respect? Have you no fear? Have you no regard for royalty? How dare you do this rubbish in my palace? Right before my throne, in the presence of my crown. Does this palace look like a place, a meeting point for prostitutes? Does it? Please, go today. Come here. Why? I don't look at you. Why you stupid? How dare you? Look, come here. Don't go anywhere. Come here. Why are you a woman? Why are you a woman? Why are you a woman? Get lost. How dare you? Why are you a woman? You're nothing but a squatter. Get that into your thick skull. You ain't nobody. Your days are numbered. How dare you? How dare you? Raise your filthy hands before my princess. Have you gone mad? Have you lost it? Don't you have manners anymore to raise this beauty as Next time you will try this stupid art again, you will be forced out of this palace sooner than you ever expected. Idiot. So it has been you. Of course, yes, don't you? Oh, did they tell you? It has been you all this while. Yes! What can you do what? about it? What? You are playing Atilogo. Be ready to dance to Atilogo. And when next time you try this, I'll make sure I castrate you and reduce you to nothing. You will do 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 nothing. You are nothing but a bastard. You are a squat in this palace. Obiora. Obiora. Yes, yes. Well, how dare you? Obiora, how dare you shout at my mother? I knew you are mad. From the onset, from the word go, you are mad. But wait, wait, just wait until after my coronation. Then and only then, I will cure your madness. <laughs> Who is coronating a, a bastard? Who is coronating a bastard? Hey! You just call me? Obior, everybody knows that you are a bastard. How dare you? Piers, you are playing the drum. Be ready to dance as well. I'm used to all kind of music. Be ready to dance. My illness. What is happening in this palace? My palace. It's no longer funny. By the gods of our land. I, Prince. Obiora is no longer finding it funny. My little brother. Who is your little brother? I am not little and I am not your brother. But that's by the way. Who called this meeting without my consent? Obieze, what is wrong with you? I mean, what is wrong with you? See, when a child is hurt his father, God will cover his eyes forever. Eh? Have you lost it again? Eh? I mean, have you lost it again? Tell me, have you? I'm sorry, but it's wrong to call a meeting in my palace without my consent. Obvious. It is only ignorance makes to it a little bit of stupidity. That made the cockroach challenge the farm to a fight. I wasn't talking to you, bastard. 
You have gone too far, little brother. The battle line has just been drawn. Do I look afraid? Look at me. Do I look afraid? Ah! Huh? Do I look afraid? As I was saying, it is wrong to call a meeting in my palace without my consent. I'm warning you people for the last time. It is wrong to call a meeting in my palace without my consent. I'm warning you people for the last time. I'm warning you people for the last time. I'm warning you for the last time. I will not stay. Please, Igwe, Igwe, calm down. Eh? You are very, very correct in whatever thing you are saying. Let themselves know the truth. But they just want to watch you fight for it. This palace belongs to you. You see this throne? It's yours. <laughs> Igwe. You are the next to know who. Eh? Yes. Me. Oye Kambuze. You are the next to know. <laughs> Igwe. You are the next to know. <laughs> Oye Kambuze. <laughs> Ugoma. Do you know that the palace is not in a good shape? Hmm. Oh Lord, my sister. Hmm. That is because the greed will not allow them to hear themselves. Hmm. If not, tell me, why would Obieze demand for the throne when he knows that he is the younger one? Hmm. Our nowadays children are just unpredictable. After all, our king trains them very well in such a way we never thought they will react in this manner. But Mama, what are the queens doing about this situation? Toshi, my daughter. Mama. Your father said that the queens are all taking side with their children. That means there will be no more peace in the palace. We pray that God should intervene. The throne of Umobibi is not meant for controversies. I am very sure that the late Igwe Ogweze his spirit is not happy in the land of death. He left this family expecting peace and harmony to reign. Now, why? Ezedibia, the reason is simple. Hand me that which rightfully belongs to me. Yes. And there shall be peace. And what is that you think that belongs to you? The throne yes. is mine. This throne belongs to my son. Which throne? The truth. Which truth? You talk like someone insane. Obieze, are you sure you are alright? Is something wrong with you? It is you who has gone mad. How dare you talk to me like that? How dare you talk to me? How dare you? Why would you talk to you? You little prostitute. When next you want to talk to my mother, you check the volume in your tool and watch your tool. Else, I will slap double thunder into your thick skull. And I will skin you alive yes. if you try that. Your mother, who is a prostitute, I want you an imbecile for you to call my princess a prostitute. So you listen, little brother. You will continue to be my little brother here on earth and in death. That's it. Now let me bring you up to speed, little brother. No Ubi. No Oka. No Ubi. Please guys, no! You will need to see them! You can do nothing! This drum belongs to my son! Obiola, come back here! This is the fight! Okay, wait. Go and call back your son. No way! I won't come back. We've had enough of this nonsense in this palace. You know what? Whatever it is you people want, we are ready for it. Even if it means death. So shall I So shall it be. This truck will get ready to die. You will die. This truck is ours. You will die. Get ready to die. Okay, we're followed. We are over there on the mother. Okay, we're followed. If we are on the mother. Okay, we're followed. We are over there on the mother. Oh, no, 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 no,
You are the true son of your father. Your father will be happy wherever he is now. Yes. Now I have sworn to take what rightfully belongs to me. Wham! Exactly! Omeka hmm? Naya. <laughs> Fight for what belongs to you. Don't allow anybody to take it from you. Look, the gods are with you. Don't mind this, Edibia. Don't mind him. And now, but I can't do this all by myself. I need your support. I, I want my support. You already have. Yes. Like I said before, the gods are with you. The elders are with you. And above all, Ndode, Anongangambi, Ebwen Kankaku, I'm with you. My, you, you are one of a kind. <laughs> Thank you very much. Come. Follow me, let me give you something. Awa! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you want to give me something? Oh, call your katan namle. Wokike, oye kambuse. And listen, and listen carefully. Ugebwe and Obiora are no longer part of this family. Stop serving them. Stop greeting them. When they call you, tell them I said that they are no longer part of this family. Have I made myself clear? If you love your job, and if you want to continue working here, don't disappoint or disobey me. Have I made myself clear? Yes, my friend. Kingship is my rights, is my inheritance, damn good samsa, inside my garage. Uh, my prince, my queen, I bring you a message from the others of Romania. They ask me to tell you that you go and settle all your conflicts in the palace before Unquad Day. And that on Unquad Day proper, we the entire elders shall gather here to take our decisions. And if your discrepancies are not settled, we have no option than to take the bull by the horn. On this note, I take my leave. Kingship is my rights, is my inheritance, damn good samsa, inside my garage. Umu Bibi elders, I greet you. Yeah, we greet, greet you. you. The family of Aletiwe, I greet you too. We have come today to settle the problem in this palace. And if we try and it doesn't work out, we the elders will take our decision. Now, now I ask, Obiora, have you settled with your brother? My elders, I welcome you. We greet you, my prince. Dubai is now. water, Oku Yakuloto. It depends on what you want to say. Liesi. Now, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by my little brother. I welcome you. But most importantly, I thank you for coming to settle the dispute that has been looming in my palace, my family. Due to the stupidity of my little brother. Watch your tongue, bastard. Did you just call him bastard? That's a what bastard. he is. He's a bastard. He's a bastard. He's a bastard. That's what he is. No. Bastard. The throne is mine. The earlier you, little brother, realizes it, the better for us. You lie. Oh yes, you lie. You sit down. You lie. First and foremost, I hate it when you call me little. Secondly, you are a bastard, and a bastard will never ever ascend the throne of you. Obiese, watch your tongue. Watch your tongue and mind what you say. Women don't talk when men are talking. Now you listen and listen good. Watch and see you 
sit on that throne, little brother. Of your eyes, you dare me, I will make you bleed. Where is my God? Where is my God? God! 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 God, give me my pop action! How are you going to pop action? God! Go! Is it if you sent for me? Yes, I did. I called you because I don't want anybody to hire us. So what is it? Obieze, you are not just fighting an ordinary fight. That throne belongs to your elder brother, Obiora. What are you saying? Obieze, the gods are not happy with you. The spirit of your late father, Igwe Ogweze, is not happy with you. As I did, I tell the gods and the spirit of my late father that I am fighting a just cause. I am the only legitimate son of my father. Obiora is a bastard. His mother's bright prize was paid just 10 years ago. That does not matter. He is still your brother. And Igwe Ugweze is his father. You lie. Just watch and see. The next time you call me out for a thing like this, I will pop you. the great hunter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the elders have come to your house today. Thank you very much. To what do I owe this visit? Iwedi, elders of Obibi sent us to you. So, what did I do wrong this no, time? No, 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 you have done nothing wrong. Rather, it is time to possess your possession. <laughs> my possession? Yes, your possession! <laughs> Believe what I'm about telling you now. Believe me that the elders of our land came to my house this morning. They came asking me to accept the throne of Obibi as the next king. You my brother. You are indeed lucky. The gods are favored you. You don't need to rush into conclusion. I am still thinking about it. Thinking about what? You were my friend. Yes. See, there is nothing to think. Think about what? There is nothing there to think. If you don't accept this offer, the spirit of your late father will not be happy with you. I want to tell you that I am highly disappointed in you. How could you descend so low? 
to allow somebody to deceive you. Eh? Whether you like it or not, your elder brother remains the heir to the throne. I am talking to you as a father. I can never ever mislead you. I want to tell you that the spirit of your father keeps appearing to me in the dream. He is not happy with you. I am not saying you should change your mind. I'm only telling you the truth. And the truth, I have told you, a word is enough for the wise. I am going. Thank you very much. Kingship is my rise. It's my inheritance. I'm with some Inside my So I will appreciate it if you address me as one. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, my son. You know, maybe it were in those good days, the days of our forefathers. Mbezin on Ukwa. Mbezin on Ukwa. Mbezin on Ukwa. I will near now with you. And you open your mouth and say this. Believe me. To go to the wars, the intra tribal wars, the inter village wars. No, 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 no. Ah. Now tell me, why would the gods forbid? I thought you were the one talking about manhood. Father, I should be the one talking about manhood here. Yes, because you are a full grown man now. And that is why I've been asking you to please go get yourself a wife. Please. Well, Father, I will surprise you. Pretty soon, I will surprise you. Obiora, I am getting no younger. I need to carry and see my grandchildren before I join my ancestors. Well, Father, your ancestors will have to wait a little longer. But I have to get ready, even if they are waiting. Father, let them wait. Father, I don't understand. You're talking to Obiora about marriage without telling me anything. Am I not man enough to get married? No, BS no. Nobody is saying you are not man enough. But the thing is that you have to tarry now. You have to wait for your elder brother. That is what the tradition states. Really? Of course, yes. The yes, and culture. That means you have to hurry. Because I already have a bride coming my way. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is marriage competition. <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's my inheritance, dumb with some sass, inside my curry. Kingship is my rights, it's my inheritance, dumb with some sass. Come here. You are the heir to the throne. I want you to lead. Don't rule. Lead not just like your father, but more than your father. And you, Obiese, always stand by your brother. Help him to make Umobi be happy. I will tell you the story of how I became king, you know, baby. 
My late brother, Otuchi, was the king for me. When he died, his son, Iwede, was too small to take over the mantle of leadership as a king in Obibi. And I was made king. And since then, nobody has ever thought of taking the kingship from me because I ruled with love. So please, do not let anything bring trouble into the palace. Because if you do, the people will go back to history and they will return the kingship to the right owner. Always let that brotherly love guide whatever you do. Take good care of your sister and your mothers. If you do these things for me, my spirit will ever be happy wherever it goes. May our ancestors guide your steps. Biora, I'm so sorry for everything. Please forgive me. I was misled. As my elder brother, the throne is yours. Ascend your throne and let there be peace. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Obi Wan. Please, forgive Onna, why Aloba? Your brother asked that you forgive him, and I plead on his behalf too. We were all misled. Come on, sit down. I'm not going to They have apologized. Who are we not to forgive? Udoka Icho. Where if I just win? Please. Find a place in your heart to forgive. Let's live together as one again. As one big family. Biko. Wow. I am Bandalu. I am is my destiny. Is this a dream or something? That after so many years, I can still take what rightfully belongs to me, my birthright. May the gods be praised. May the gods. It's my destiny. No one can stop it. If I took the Lord, I go I can't get with you. Oh, I get in it. Oh, I keep full. If I took a full gap, I could pay 
Hey, that's what we be agree to you. My people, I greet you all. Today, we have chosen to present the new Igwe to the throne of Obibi, as agreed by Eze Dibia and the elders in council. Kingship is my rise, is my inheritance, and put some self inside my career. Uh, well, um, as you can see, myself, my brother, and the entire family, we have agreed to live in peace. As you can see, it is written on our faces. We now live in peace, joy, and harmony. Please forgive us for the little drama. We are sorry. <laughs> My people, this is a very big lesson to every one of us. I want to let you all know that violence it's not always the solution to problems. Yes. Most times, violence will make you lose what belongs to you. Yes. 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 Obiora, you and your brother, Obiese, made a very big mistake. And it is too late to ask for forgiveness. Yes! We have agreed to return the throne. To the rightful owner. What's the guinea? Got you. The wealthy is the rightful owner of the throne.
Sheep. 